little ThinkPad friends, collectors, and random YouTubers. It is Saucy, and this is the second part of my video where I talk about my ThinkPad collection of 2017. So this is like at the end of you know 2017. I think it's December 27th, 28th. Tomorrow at my work, I'm gonna have a half day, so I'll get paid eight hours as long as I work four hours. Super excited on that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna talk about the uh, 500 series that I own, which are the Ultra Portables. Uh, behind me on the other shoulder, we have, uh, I guess I have a few X series and an S series. So these are Ultra Portables as we all know them. This one's a little bit early. I shouldn't be really talking about the Lenovo ones, but hey, who cares? There's a, one or two IBMs in there. And uh, we're also going to talk about, I don't have too many of the 200 series, which are the super ultra portable, the uh, South East Asia, or no, I think it's just East Asia, East Asia specific or Pacific uh, market. <laughs> they are, they're pretty much smaller than the 500s. We'll see, but um, they're a bit smaller than the 500s. And then below them, I have, I only have two 200 series and I have three 600 series, well technically four, but uh, the 600 series is more closer to the T series, so this video is kind of all like discombobulated, but I didn't really want to talk about the I series and 300 series yet, because these ones are definite classics. And by classic, let's go ahead and start with uh, the oldest, I guess. This is, I think, this should be the uh, ThinkPad 500 right here, so it is pretty pretty dang uh, old. I think this is a 1992, maybe 1993. Oh wait, this is not a 500. This is a uh, 510CS. <laughs> Ouch. Um, wow, don't quote me on, on the 500, but it pretty much is very similar to the 500. Um, we have these little buttons right here, which I thought are pretty neat. Uh, sadly, this unit is damaged, so the hinge, as you heard right there, comes on and off. It broke right there. I bought it from a, a local fellow, I think for about $40. I tried to get $10 off and he was like, oh, I'm just going to hold on to, it was like two different items. I think it was like a charger. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll get the charger, but the charger doesn't work. I don't think this unit does turn on, but oh man. Okay, so I guess that, that did it right there. So, oh my God, this is going to break. <laughs> so luckily... <laughs> All the LCD cables are on that side, but uh, oh my gosh, I, I, I just broke that right now. But we have a little track point, we have a small, we have, this is pretty much, this is like the uh, Lenovo keyboard now. So those who say they got rid of the, oh my gosh, it's getting worse. The classic keyboard uh, is actually a total lie, because the classic, that is a classic keyboard. Uh, this is the hinge that decided to break today, so... That, there goes that. So 510CS, color, that means color screen secondary. Uh, basically this has a DSTN panel, not a TFT. So stay away from the, the S's that, that, that have a C proceeding before it, I think. Because uh, they're actually lower quality, unlike the T400S and, you know, uh, X240S. Okay. I'm going going off weird tangent there, but all those things I've had for my uh, 500 series, and then the next one, you know what? We just, this kind of jumps a bit. So I got a good deal on uh, the. I think this is a 560. It is a uh, not this one exactly, but I think this is one of the first ones I bought. Whoa! It is a uh, very damaged. This is a 560E, and it is in terrible shape. Um, oh my gosh, it's cracked everywhere. So, I bought a two oh, crack screen. So I I bought <laughs> I bought two of these before on eBay. I think I spent like ninety dollars on these. Just they were okay, maybe ninety dollars is an over exaggeration, but it was like it's from I think I spent from fifty to ninety, somewhere around there. And they were just, uh, they were just duds. Uh, I think this one turns on, but the screen is cracked. And the other one I have, it, I think it powers up, but there's, there's nothing on the display. So, yeah, these, both of these broke. So, th these are not, uh, not, not ones I wanted, you know, 
it was just a sad case of you know giving a shot, but ultimate ended up being nothing. However, I bought four more uh, of these guys, and I think one of these is not the the fourth one. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. Um, here we go. This is okay. So this is the second one. Uh, this button breaks really easily. So just the, the that track point. It, it I think I just barely tapped like that. And it just cracked out one day. So this one doesn't boot. However, this guy told me that he had four of these working, or they worked last time. You know, he had them, and he sold them to storage. So I got them for ten bucks a piece. Here are three of the four of them. Now, where's the fourth one at? I actually sold it for I think about a hundred and eighty dollars, or a hundred and forty. And I didn't really check eBay for that particular one, but it was this. It was a uh, 560 with a TFT panel, and it happened to be. A, I guess it's a kind of rare one, but uh, I just had it up real quick, and somebody decided to snatch it. Uh, let's see. This is a 560X. I think this is the the best one I have. So I don't know if I have a 560Z, but yeah, 560X with the. Uh, this has one slider, so this is just a TFT display. I uh bleh. I have a uh, 380 I believe a 380 XD one of my three eight my original 380 I believe I think it is that um, it had a good hard drive but the rest of it wasn't good however the 380 has really similar hardware or it might be a 390 to the 560 and pretty much I clone the hard drive put it in there it read everything it has the same sound card and it has the same video card and I think the same processor the only thing is different of course is the RAM I guess you could get it's the same speed you could use the same speed but so I have like a fully working 560 and, and when you click uh, I think it says about this hardware it says 3 380 XD or, or I have like a little pamphlet that says uh, you know here's your startup guy for your 380 so yeah I got a uh, a few of these bad boys I think uh, I think this is the uh, other one that's in pretty bad shape this is just a standard 560 so not, nothing too special what what about these guys is that this little rear rear piece seems to go missing so yeah I'm, I'm missing that one and this one as well they have a weird oh, what the hell so they have a this early 560 has this kind of CMOS battery a strange one and then later on they want to go ahead and I think they use I think this is like a standard uh, CR uh, uh, 3032 or 2032 something like that and uh, oh I think I was repairing this one and I kind of goofed up on the uh, palm rest so this one I guess I, I forgot what I was doing I think I was trying to swap one of them had like a crack. I get like this this little OCD thing when I want to sell something, and it had like a crack on on, on the uh, on the bezel, and I ended up just messing up more parts. So I, I do I think I'm gonna do a, a, a catch video on this. So don't ask for a request on that if you guys want to see a video of that, because those will be coming up soon. And oh shoot, I guess that's the uh, this will be the last of the 500 series because this is a. I believe this is a 570 might be no, I think I don't think it's a 570 e yeah just a standard 570 so yeah it's pretty sweet and it's also big too because the reason why it's big is that oh wait, wait I guess we got to show this on the bottom this is the first ThinkPad with the uh, ultra base that we all know so this is like the uh, precursor to the X series now I have a 240X I'll talk about a little bit later. Still have that from if you guys saw another video before, but basically uh, the 570, like the full size keyboard nest and the Ultra Bay plus the size factor of a 240. I think it was like the first 12 inch or maybe 10.1 inch laptop. Uh, anyways, <laughs> it became like a 12 inch laptop thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> talking about so many things, I forget what size is what. So, interesting about this is that it has like a weird, it has like this dual, whoa, dual uh, springs for 
you know, to take out the one for each each gizmo. But uh, yeah, it's uh it's pretty cool. Now, what I like about this is that they wanted to do the whole three spindle thing, meaning or three spindle design. Why am I saying thing? Three spindles is hard drive, floppy drive, and C D or D V D drive. So you know you have three things rotating. So what's neat about this is that it has a interesting little ultra bay concept. I think I need to press another button. Let's see. Did it just come off? No. Oh, so I gotta press that and boom. So we have a floppy drive. I think it might I don't know if this is an early no, this is a DVD drive. What am I talking about? Got like a cell phone ring in the background, so that's awesome. And then, uh, whoa, what the hell? There's all these weird buttons over here. And we also have a, uh, let's go ahead and do this for this one. So you can do that. Or, <laughs> you gotta see what I'm doing. And boom, this is the, fl this is the floppy drive. USAnotebook.com. So if you root the seal, you don't get a refund. And before I, before I end it right there, interesting enough is that this guy, you could also put a battery in here, but it wasn't like, they didn't, you know, incorporate the battery, that, you know, like an ultra battery. IBM was still doing their IBM things, and you were able just to use another battery that you had on the bottom. So, you didn't have to worry about buying a different type of battery, you could just simply buy the one see if I can get this line correctly, the one that you have down here. Now, I, don't, I think I'm missing, no, I should have the battery for this, but it is dead. So I removed it, and, you know, that's about it. But it's fairly durable. This one does boot up. Uh, I think I was making a video for it about, how, you know, all that good stuff, but I really want to, I think I was doing like a, I, was, I did like a, a, a monthly uh, grab bag or something like that, where I got like what I got for the month. And then I didn't video edit it, so whatever, okay. Any, anyways, it's uh, or to say anywho, that's my word. We have like a interesting power up. I guess there must have been some complaint that people accidentally press power on this thing. So they have a button you press and then you could power it up or power it off. So very interesting that they did that. It's a kind of a weird a little, little bit of different design. Uh, let's go with, can I take this? Oh, no, no, no. I think I could. Um, ah, we'll be done with that. But yeah, this is pretty much the, you know, first, first, uh, saw, I think they call it the Sawzall ThinkPad because of the uh, Ultra Bay design. So just close it up like that. It doesn't really add much to the back. We have like a, a MIDI or a game port and another USB drive, a sound out. But that's pretty much it. So it really didn't do much other than, uh, I, I, you know, it's, it's mostly for people who needed a disk drive or a floppy drive at one time. So that was that was like the main necessity at the time. And I think this was made, I want to say around 1998. So um, what is it? I think the, the, the iMac, the original CRT iMac came out in 1999, I want to say. Maybe, I think it's 1999. So... Slowly, we had the demise of that, and of course, the incorporation of the new uh, ultra ultra ba ultra bays. No, 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 ultra bases. There we go. Next, we have we go with our 200 series. Now, I only have two of these, and they're very, very late in the series. This is the 235. I think I made a short little video of this little guy. Uh, super tiny keyboard. Maybe I should do another. Yeah, I, I remember because I, I, I couldn't, uh, I didn't want to open this thing up because I heard this was really bad. So yeah, I got this little guy. I think I paid like 150 bucks for it. Uh, I guess it's worth the money. It's a, it's an interesting little device. So this guy works. One, one speaker doesn't port doesn't work, and I think one, one battery doesn't work or one battery charger thing. I don't know. It doesn't work. So it's just a nice little laptop. I think it has like an. 8.1 inch display. It might have a uh, 10 inch display. It has uh, two battery indicator lights and charging lights for it because it uses two batteries, two camcore batteries instead of just one regular one. So, interesting little gizmo. And we have our little battery over here. So, I think I can replace this battery. 
I should replace it. I bought a bunch of uh, CR. Bunch, I, bought, I bought a bunch of batteries to get rid of all these all these little time clock gremlins. But not like I don't know. I I might end up <laughs> I might end up end up just uh, I guess uh, killing the battery life on those because you know I don't really use these every day. And then we also have like a oddly enough on this side we have the a VGA and a serial or R two thirty two port. So I guess it couldn't fit it back here because of the batteries. Next we are going to talk about the uh, two forty X I have. I got this a long time ago in San Diego. Should be about two years ago. Uh, pretty much powdered it up, got it, and uh, I'm just holding it on. Um, it really, the main thing pads that I use for like nostalgia, I, I as like the A31 and the X31 I have. So these are the guys. I don't really get, other other than like getting to work to boot off of Windows. That's pretty much what I use them all for. So. Yeah, don't mean to disappoint you guys, but I buy these. I'm collecting them and using them whenever, whenever I could. So, ooh, a little scary right there. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about the 600 series. So, uh, I should have probably talked about the 600 series when I was talking about the seven, the 700s, because the 600 was like uh, IBM's uh, reaction to making a smaller ThinkPad because they went really big with the 770 in comparison to the 765. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, I guess we have the latches down here. Uh, these these have the best smell to them. Probably the uh, best smelling ThinkPad that, that there is. So you won't smell this sort of ThinkPad out of any, every, any other one. Uh, another thing is that they have a lot of uh, port covers so they made it really like sleek looking. Everything's pretty much guarded. This is the toughest ThinkPad ever made. So despite despite what other people say, this is regarded as the toughest ThinkPad and also one of the best built. Uh, people love this machine. And I do want, if I could do it, would like to do the uh, Pentium 3 mod and get like a, uh, I think that's a, I think the highest megahertz is uh, 850 megahertz. Uh, 700 and 750, I think, are other two other popular uh, speeds. But right now, uh, that processor is like, I think the 750 or 850 is like 80 dollars right now, and that's about the price of a. I think it's the price of a Fortran quad core i7, an i7 uh, 4700 MQ or HQ. Or 4800. I, I remember just selling a, a 4th Gen i7 for like $90. I mean... <laughs> so, so yeah, one thing you gotta look at is that the, these, uh, I guess these docking ports, they like to break, so you have that issue. And another thing is that they had a hard plastic at the end, but they had a soft plastic to bend. So, uh, a, few, a few of these I have, you guys are not gonna see because of the lighting, but a few of these I have, uh, there's cracks on, on these plastics. So I do not try to try out, you know, I do not connect these to any ports or anything because, you know, that would severely, that's, that puts a lot, I mean, it, it, it wants to rest like that. So, you know, over the sun and age, these like to break, break out quite a bit. So I think this is the, this one is probably like my best, best looking one. Sorry about that, abrupt finish. Uh, my timer went off, so that means I hit like 20 minutes on the camera, so I gotta retake it again. But I went to the bathroom, and I forgot where I was at. So let's go ahead and skip that 600, and let's see what these other ones I have. Um, <laughs> I guess the uh, rubber feet like to stick on each other. Um, this one has a lot of uh, scratches on it, so uh, sadly, this is kind of like when IBM start getting like the sticky lid. Uh, they played the uh, the 600. I think the my 770. The Palmer's gets bad also, and the lid. Um, the t the T20 to the T30 had uh, they also get bad lids too. So um, they kind of just like they kind of scratch, and sometimes they're sticky, other times they're not. Just say it's just all a fluke, I guess, for the most part. And I don't think I opened up the uh, other one, so let's go ahead and talk about the inside of it. 
Uh, this here is a 600E. Oh, okay, so this one smells really nice. Um, I think this one's a little bit dirty. We got a lot of, a lot of dust right there, probably from the skins. Somebody's palm rest. <laughs> uh, I didn't wash this one. Uh oh. Uh, what, I wonder what's gonna be on this one. Uh, there was an I series that I got that had some questionable material. So uh, <laughs> the more expensive ThinkPads, the better you are at. Uh, luckily, this one goes all the way back. So a good pad indeed. Uh, people say that this is the the, the one of the best uh, typing experiences on a ThinkPad. Now I don't. I guess I'm kind of like in, in a to at a toss between it because I actually didn't really come across one of these as a great keyboard, but I think I, I think it's because I had like a the seven the the 365 XD I had like a great keyboard experience on. Tangent, gonna, gonna stop with that. But um, yeah, I think that's a 600E. Was that was the other one? The 600X? Ah, forget it. But basically, the 600E and the 600X. Uh, they have a slightly different um, volume port and the connectors are moved a little bit so uh, modding or upgrading the motherboard in one of these is going to be a lot more harder than the other one because the parts are actually different and they moved up little things a little bit differently so 600E and I think this is a standard 600 let's go ahead and open this thing up and oh no this is a, this is a 600E so maybe I don't have a break of 600 uh, this one's in really good condition, other than the lid having some scratches. Okay, I lied. We have some, I have to get that lighting on there, but this part, oh my gosh. I think it got worse since I stacked them all on top of each other. So that's going to go. This one has a little bit of a mess up too. Uh, as you can tell, there's no lip on this one because it just ripped off. So I'm, I'm presuming the previous owner just took it off. However, we do have a port. <laughs> we have a serial port, so you know that was going out of business. Um, yeah, the, what's I think this one I needed because it had a, it had a uh, a DVD drive. No, I'm sorry, this has a CD drive. So what sucks about the older you get on the thing has a less less and less like you have a chance that supports a USB boot. I think my let me let me think. My T22 was the first ThinkPad that supported USB booting, I believe. Might be wrong, but I, for sure the A31P su supports USB booting. So older ones like this, I had I had a uh, one. These other two that I have, if you didn't, well, it's really hard to see. But one has a DVD drive, the other one has a floppy drive. Uh, I'm not going to install Windows off a of floppy. At least not anytime soon, because I have no ways of putting, of getting a, a floppy, or or you know I'll, I have like a few floppies that I got just in case, but I've never really done it, and I really don't have a computer that has floppy a floppy drive in it. I know I should get one. I work at a computer recycler. I should get one of the old the old desktops there, but I don't know. It's just like, like a big space waster. But may, maybe when I get when I get a uh, 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 the audio rack that I have, or uh, what is it, a damn rack, rack mount, uh, rack, oh gosh, I can't even think of the darn word. But when I get shelving, then that's when I'll be able to do it, because then I can just stack them on top of each other and just, uh, who cares about it. So, <laughs> so we, with that, I would be able to boot, I think I could do, I think this can handle Windows XP, but it's not really recommended. I believe Windows ME and Windows 2000 works. I have a X, I have a special XP Service Pack 3 that still gets security updates. So, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit much more advanced for the older laptops, but uh, I think I will install it just, in, I just put it on there because it's like, there's XP and that's why people buy these old laptops. For that reason oh man I think I just ruined that part but let's go ahead and get done with that and we are gonna go ahead and get into the X series um, but I guess we're gonna have my little gem over here uh, I need to do I really need to do a video about this uh, since I have I think the X I didn't since I have the X31 it should I think I'm gonna install either Linux or or uh, Windows on the X31, swap the hard drive, 
and put it in this bad boy. The S31 is, to me, it's a collector's edition. This uh, little uh, keyboard that just pokes out is, is uh, this was like a, well, first off, this is like an anniversary edition of the ThinkPad. Uh, this is not necessarily the uh, first one, but uh, they were they did this to commemorate the design of the 701C, of course. I mean, it's super small. It has a 10.1 inch screen. Uh, very cute design. I took out the battery because the battery's dead, but I got this for my work. Did I do a video about it? I don't know if I did. But I got this for my work and um, got it for $2. Didn't have a hard drive. I had to buy the hard drive connector. But um, finding a, uh, it, it, this, it has some proprietary port for like a, a CD or, or a floppy. So I haven't tried uh, doing the, uh, the, the PCM, I'm going to get this wrong, PCM CIA card or whatever the hell it is, they always change these damn ports. There were different options, but I haven't tried, oh, I think it's a CF card reader right here, but I haven't, I haven't tried um, any of those ports yet with a CD drive. I think I have, see, I think I should have one down here somewhere. So I don't know if this is even gonna work, but I have the Sony Vio one, and I don't know if, First of all, I don't even know if the CD drive works, but uh, I thought it was pretty neat because it has, you just put it in like that. So yeah, a uh, little bit off topic. Oh, oh wait, wait, this is pretty cool too. So you could take this thing out and if the, you know, it doesn't work anymore, you could, oh my God, is this gonna work? Oh yeah, boom, you take it out. So I, I'm, I don't know if I would be able to replace that or not. There are a few uh, bios on my work that I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy. Uh, I don't think they, I don't think any of them work. I might have a charger over here for them, but getting a little bit off topic. Gonna get rid of that because I'm gonna start talking about them more. But yeah, this is a piano black finish. It is scratched up, so I don't know if you can see the the lining on there. I'm trying to reflect it, but it is scratched up. I think I might be able to buff it out, but it's dented in some spots. S30 and S31 uh, are the only ones that they have here, and then they killed the line. I think uh, with the X300 and a half, they tried to revive it as an S70. So, so I think that's there is no real S series. I mean, yeah, the 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 Lenovo or the ThinkPad Twist, which also had the name S230, and in Europe, when the T40 T440 came out. Uh, they had the S440, which I thought looked pretty cool, but for some odd reason, we they didn't want to bring it over here to stateside. So I think I want to e export one of those one of these days because I think I thought they looked cool. Uh, let's see the next ThinkPad. Uh, oh my gosh, these <laughs> okay, these are uh, out of uh, out of order. <laughs> but here we go, boom. This is the one that Bibbin sold to me. That I bought at uh, Ballast Point Brewery in San Diego. This one's awesome because it makes the lid go all the way back like that. So that's pretty cool. But um, I love the design of this thing. I love this this cut right there. Coolest. I wish I wish more. Only the uh, the 30 series had them. So the uh, X32, X31, and X32 had them and the T30 and the A30 and A31P. Uh, that's about it. I don't think uh, the G series didn't have that. And the G series came out during the, the T4, T4X era. But yeah, I, I, last time I did, the, I had a catch video. Um, my, I think my, my laptop ended up getting a weird screen issue. So I don't know where it came from, but I haven't booted it up since. I wonder if it'll turn on, I think the battery's dead. So the hinges looks like it's gonna need replacing. Uh, do I have a battery charger? Ah, forget it. Yeah, I forget it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's here. So I'm gonna hold on to it. If it needs a new screen, then at least I can find the screen because the whole cable mod is the hardest part to do. So, boom, have it saved. It's not going anywhere. 
anytime soon. Uh, this right here, I guess we're getting the, the, this is a little bit cheating because this is a, now, this is a Lenovo ThinkPad. This is an, an X61, standard uh, X61 laptop. Uh, I've had this for a very long time. I think this, this is probably my fourth X series tablet or X series laptop and probably ninth ThinkPad I bought. Uh, I had this one for a while because I, I'm all, I, I don't know. I had it because I was like, oh sweet, you know, X61. I don't know why I want to get it, but uh, <laughs> it's missing two of these buttons. And this is like the most. This has been like the most frustrating thing for me to replace. I don't want to buy a keyboard by itself to fix this. So I bought other ThinkPads to do that, and every single time, I found out later that the X61s doesn't have it has a different keyboard connector so it don't work on this and and every I think I had four uh, like two x61s and two x61s's none of the keys none of the keyboards work and the x200s that it had the the keys won't fit in here so uh, I think I used to have uh, I removed the hard disk since then but I installed a I think I tried out what was that B B Bode Linux, I think, or I was trying a few different distros with this guy, but um, other than other than the uh, you need to do the uh, Middleton BIOS on these ones, especially because you could change the Wi-Fi card. But I think this one has a uh, a secondary fan in here. I need so I need to replace the fan. I need to replace the keyboard. And I guess get a, one of these gizmos. And this thing will be good to go. So it's a it's a pretty sweet. Pretty sweet little guy. Boom. And it's what's funny is that the X61S has a slightly different uh, battery, I guess. It doesn't have the bottom feet for some reason on here. So you have to buy this little, has like a little opening right here. You gotta buy a little adapter that goes onto there. But otherwise, your ThinkPad will kind of sit all funny, I, th I think. But yeah, Quartu Duo, nothing too crazy about that. And here is, oh my gosh, this is a sad case right here. I'm going to cry. Just kidding. Uh, this is my third X61 tablet. And this was to replace my original X61 tablet, my first ThinkPad. So the X61 series holds a close place in my heart because uh, it made me start drawing again. I started using Photoshop again. I did quite a few like blame color edits. Uh, blame the manga so it, you know uh, Japanese mangas are black and white so all I did was just I got them I colored them in and added color if you like the scenery I did, yeah I didn't really I guess I was doing a color book thing and I was trying to do some drawings but I kind of stopped there but however uh, the x61 tablet really started started to uh, this got me into uh, I guess creating like a YouTube channel got me into ThinkPads, so this is like my favorite. I guess I'm always gonna have a spot for this thing because this got me into ThinkPads. I'm always gonna like the X series because they're small, they're awesome. They this one also always have to be a like a slate tablet. I'm sad that the Yogas, you know, got got rid of the uh, swiveling, you know, the middle swivel on the ThinkPad, but. Uh, this hinge is really problematic. It often fails. It, it cracks and stuff. So the Yogos having, you know, the two hinges and it flips all the way back. Much more sturdy design. The only thing is that you, um, you your keyboard can get really dirty. So if you drop it and it scrapes something on the ground, those keys blip, are gone, most likely. Oh, I was missing a track point. But the sad part about this guy is that because it's a SXGA plus display, the X61 had a special glue to bind the display to make it look better. And a uh, little to IBM, they found out that the, uh, or to Lenovo, I should say, the glue ended up leaking over time. So the X60 tablet with the F SXGA display is the one to get. Uh, the best way to, to get one of those is doing the uh, model top model part num bleh, 
machine type model number. Oh my gosh, talking too much. And um, I, I do want to, I guess I'm going to do the, the screen swap. You lose some uh, pen sensitivity from the X60 to the X61. But if you really, if you're really considering pen sensitivity in 2018 or later, uh, these aren't the ones that you want to get because I'm pretty sure pen sensitivity on the surfaces are a lot better than these ones. But uh, yeah, this is this is still I, I think I still have my original SSD in here um, because of my battery that I had started just degrading and dying. I haven't used it since. Oh shoot! It looks like the uh, battery slot cracked as well I had the uh, I don't seem to find it right now but I had the there's like a leather bound case that you could get for the tablets and it, it's kind of it's kind of silly because you can only use it as a as a, with the tablet open or closed so it's kind of weird but uh, I'll have to I do need to fix this thing up I, I probably might buy another x61 or do something with it might do a Frankenstein Frankenstein swap I have an extra display one, one of these screens on here so um, so I might try to do the whole ungluing, deleting thing. And we're going to kind of skip one a bit. But um, this is a recent get. I got this from a brain surgeon in Wisconsin. Uh, my cousin's uh, husband. But uh, I guess he's my cousin-in-law in, in a way. But yeah, X200 tablet. Uh, I think he has important information on here. So I'm going to wipe this hard drive. And I think somebody in my family, if they want to get it, uh, they might just have to pay me. I think I have to buy a battery for this thing. That's about it. Or, you know, put a new hard drive in there. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know really much about it. x tablets. So, I love the 4x3 display. And I actually, I think when I bought my first ThinkPad in 2000, I want to say 2011. Uh, or, was it 2010? I don't know. Uh... I kind of don't remember the past because I think about uh, my ex-girlfriend, so so I really fucked up there. <laughs> so instead of girls, instead of picking up girls, I started picking up ThinkPads or guys. If you want me, <laughs> if you want to say that, <laughs> uh, embarrassing moment for me. I'm getting a little bit hot now, but uh, yeah. So the X, I had a chance of, I had a choice of getting an X two two hundred or X sixty one. They're about the both. They're about the both same price. They both had core two duos, so it, it did confuse some people trying to sell uh, these because they're like, "Oh, it's, it's all core two duos, and we're in the i three, i five, and i seven era. These are old." So, yeah, and um, I ended up not getting one of these, but I had. I'm not really a fan of them, so. Okay, so this video is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but um, I wasn't really a fan of them at first. The display, I don't really care for, so wh whatever, whatever, uh, fight me, or whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's uh, has the Wacom. Oh my gosh, is this not gonna come out? Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of these. One problem is this thing breaking, and another problem is the latch on the on the X200 and the X61. But this has a dock and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take this dock out. We have only one connector. But what's cool about this guy is that uh, I think so with the X220 they got rid of it having its own keyboard or its own um, uh, speakers. But this one has stereo speakers. The X61 tablet has mono speakers, so that's that's one thing to, to say. What makes the X200 better is that they made it more friendly to consumers. And another thing that's neat about about the X200, the Ultra Bay, is that you could charge. You could actually charge uh, two two batteries at once. You could charge your main battery, and then it has secondary battery as well. And of course, I think this also does this. Uh, oh no, it only has it only has the uh, SATA, the uh, Ultra Bay for a disc. So if you thought you could do a slice battery or you know a Ultra Bay battery, you can't. You couldn't. You had to get the slice battery, but that slice battery is just a bunch of plastic and I don't recommend it. Last but not least, we have one ThinkPad, another one that I have been just 
left alone, but this is my X300, but it's also known as the S70. So this is a pre-production X300. I did a video a long time ago about it where I opened it up and all that stuff. So maybe I'll redo a video again, but I do want to buy an X301 and uh, use that as like my main one because I used the uh, hell out of this. This actually, I think I had a, uh, I think I use this more, I think I got the, the T43P sometime after this, but, um, or no, sometime before this, wait, 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 I got the T43 after I had this for, for like six months, but it is sweet, it, it has, it's, it's basically like an X300, but, uh, the main difference is that it has a shiny, a shiny bezel, um, and also the ultra, the ultra bay port right here is shiny as well. And it says uh, sit only, so I'm presuming this is like a like a uh, display model. Bought it, I think I paid like $170 for this thing. So after like uh, like six months after I bought it, the prices of the X300 dropped dramatically. I lost money on it in a sense, but uh, this is kind of like a special unit. Uh, it's not it's not rare. I wouldn't say it's rare, but it's like an uncommon one. You, you don't really see. You know many of them, so it, this is probably m maybe the X two hundred one S with the uh, uh, nine hundred P display or WXGA plus display is uh, less less uh, uncommon than this, or is it more rare? Well, ah, getting a weird rant, but best uh, still by far my uh, best uh, keyboard on on a Lenovo ThinkPad. Now I've heard that the T twenty three anniversary edition. Or the ThinkPad 25th Anniversary Edition has a better has a better keyboard. It's a really good keyboard. So, but I don't have one of those. So until the days when they start doing the, uh, I I damn well know that there's gonna someone's gonna be uh, making a bunch of T25 keyboards and and palm rests for sale on eBay, and there's gonna be a lot of T470 uh, swaps. So uh, that's gonna be the end of my video. Talk about quite a few. Um, a non ThinkPad I have over here. I have like these two Fujitsu Life Books. Uh, these are, I think these have a Pentium 4. This one has a Pentium 3. Uh, this is like a, I don't know, it's not, okay, it's, it says Pentium M, but maybe I got that wrong. So uh, I think one has XP and one has, I think it has like Debian or CrunchBang, I think. Uh, nothing too special about this. It's just uh, I thought we had like maybe I think we had like 15 of these come into my work one day, and I thought they looked cool, so I wiped the hard drives on all of them. They boot from the USB. There we go. I don't know. It looks it just just a uh, nothing special. The AC adapters I think is hard to find. They have like oh yeah they have like a weird pass. Oh shit! Do I have the password for these? Oh crap, they have like a BIOS password. So you, you're supposed to press these buttons and you unlock them. So now I think about it, I think I don't remember the password, so I might not be able to get these to boot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's my uh, non-ThinkPad we have here. So I think they're cool. I do want to do a video about these. I want to uh, pick them out or test them out one more time. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. If it's 2018 and you're already watching this and the world's not burning, I guess uh, like this video, maybe subscribe to me, or not. I hit three, I just checked my uh, YouTube and I had three or two subscribers at the time of this video. So yeah, um, that's it for me guys, so I'll see you around. Bye-bye.